Welcome back to episode 2 of our Solo Crusader mini-series for Legends and PTR mod. You guys were so keen on the first episode that I am happy to continue this series for a little while longer. Uh, it'll just be slow to get the episodes out, so I apologize for that. But here is episode 2, and we, as far as I remember, we're waiting to get this cursed mausoleum as a fight. I am a bit anxious and worried about ghosts, because they can completely screw up your entire run. So I'm going to wait till morning to scout out and see if they have one. There's not much to do till morning. Just a couple hours. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Uh, too bad it can't scout out even in the daytime. It's one of those locations. But, okay. There aren't Noxiras, which I don't have to worry about. Because I can hear the undead. And there are ghosts, and I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so the trick is killing them before they fear us. And if we can go back a little bit... There is also necromancers. Oh, boy. This is gonna be tough. Let me turn the red tiles on as usual. Yes, the ghosts. Thank you for allowing me to walk up to you. And thank God um, the weird ganger missed the 5%, because, you know, that happens to us way too often. Uh, if you haven't reached the streams... Um, the there's been some updates happening and pattern recognition has been nerfed slash buffed it now scales like exponentially and stuff so I love it even more the first couple of levels though are kind of weak but it's really nice anyways uh, it's gonna be helpful against zombies for sure let's hopefully get a 64 okay we might lose here it all depends on how easily we get feared. Oh, wow. There's the 5%. Okay, so since that hit, we can kill the ghosts now, right? Come on, game. Yes! Yes, we resisted all three screams. Let's go. Uh, 60%, 65s, or do I go for 246s? No, I don't. I go for the highest chance. Yes! That is the double hit! Now we just need the last Geist and we win. 100%. Confidence makes a big difference that helps us resist the Geists a little bit more. Doesn't help us resist 5% though. Thanks very much for that, Mr. Hammer. Now the trick is how do we get to that Geist? Uh, we can try and walk around. One, two, three. Four, and then we can maybe go for a split. Wow. Really? You absolute jerk. Okay, we're going to have to go walking through to the Geist. That's the only way. Because a 5% hit us twice in two turns. Okay, we resist the scream. That is very big. And... This guy moves out of our way. That's actually really good. Okay, the pattern recognition is constantly going. Uh, that's the Nine Lives proc. We can't go for another hit or else he'll get rezzed. So let's just waste the hit on the hammer because we hate him. It's as simple as that. Hammers are painful. We resist the scream again. Let's go. Maybe this resolve is helping. Because I've played... Lone Wolves before, and having 100 resolve does not do anything against Scream, so I guess we're just getting lucky at the moment. Okay, let's kill him and walk over his corpse. Bullcrap. Absolute bullcrap. No way did we get a 5% on us. Uh, at least it's the guy that we damaged before. No, they're not resing the friend. Okay, that's good. Of course, another 5%. That's what we need at this time. Good, we proc the nine lives. Once we get rid of... Oh, of course his friend comes back. What a jerk. Proc 
Proc the nine lives. Don't even proc his nine lives because he's on two health, of course. There's the screen that we didn't want to have happen. We've resisted so many. We have to make a mad dash. These 5% have to stop screwing us. Okay, nice try, buddy. Let's go. Can't go further. But we can go for a split to try and get this Geist next turn. Yes, we're back to confident. I forgot about that. And the scream didn't work this time. Thank God. Okay, so we go for the split. Because going for two hits, then going for the kill, then walking over the body takes too long. Or we don't have enough, so we have to do it anyways. Okay, we got to do it the long way. And doing it this way allows us to have the better chance to hit, because Slash does 10% extra hit, whereas Split's a little bit less. We resist another Scream. That's big. Ninety-five. Walk over. This is where it comes down to the wire. In melee with a Geist is very dangerous. Can we get it? He goes for hits instead of screams. That's good. If he connected with any of those, that would hurt a lot, so I'm a little worried. But, we always have enough for two slashes. And the second one hits! Let's go! We already had a couple of stacks of pattern recognition, thank the ghost for attacking us. And we get pushed away from the zombies. To get close to the Necro, he's already wavering, that's nice to see. It is still weird to see that they can't possess enemies, but I don't know. They're still resin guys, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, we have to carve a path towards them. Great. This'll take some time. But we haven't hit, been hit by a 5% for a while, and I know I shouldn't jinx it, but that is nice. Uh, we kill and walk over the body. Very nice. It's too bad we can't go further. Because it's a snow tile. Oh, I hate the snow sometimes. <laughs> As a snowman, I'd live I live in the snow. That would make sense. Oh, come on. We lose confidence from the, the surround bonus. Oh. It's okay. The pattern recognition is going to insane levels. If we want to check it, 24, 26, all the way down to 3. So it's doing really well. Uh, we'll have to go this way. And then we have to go through the guy with armor. That's going to be annoying. Or we could go down this way, this way, into getting both Necros at the same time. That's probably easier. Nice! Nice! That's so good. And that stacks pattern recognition against the stronger one. Eh, it doesn't really matter. They're five percents. Okay, we kill this guy, walk over his corpse, and get rid of the necros, and we win the undead fight. But this is going to still take a very long time. Oh, that procs the nine lives, so we have to go on someone else. Nice. Now, one thing we could do, um, if I didn't have to make this video entertaining <laughs> is you can actually sit in these fights with a necromancer and constantly kill undead if you want to go for the favorite enemy uh, perk which we might do in this run because what happens is is if you're killing oh lucky necro if you're killing undead oh and there goes our confidence if they get rezzed undead count as a new target for your favorite enemy so you can constantly just sit in one fight for hundreds of turns, as long as you don't die to 5%, and just farm your favorite enemies. So yeah, I'd recommend doing that if you enjoy getting stacks for free. Uh, but I don't want to make this fight the entire video, so <laughs> I'm going to have to try and finish it as quickly as possible, even though it is taking at least like 30 turns, maybe 40. Uh, let's do this and try and get a double kill at the same time, so we don't have to worry about them rezzing each other. 
because that'll be more pain and suffering. And that staff, I hate zombies with staffs because they just hit you whilst you're still surrounded by six people. He's fleeing beautiful. Does he go before us? No. 12 and 11, so technically I think we're faster than him. Yes, just barely. Beautiful. No more reses. It's funny how we can't see that tile. Ah, oh, yeah, because the boulder block site. Anyways, uh, now that the threats are all gone... The heck is he doing up there? I don't know. We can finally start working on the rest of the zombies. I do eventually want to maybe move to this square, so this staff guy eventually comes closer. Yeah, but he's gonna move down anyways. But we can kill him and walk over his corpse, that'll work. Uh, Jones procs nine lives. Fair enough. Though, because we are only surrounded by four plus the staff, we might be able to constantly do sweeping attacks. Yeah, we might be able to. Let's go for the double kill. Yes, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Setting up a double kill. Now let's see if my theory is right. We might be able to go for another sweep. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Ah, there's the 5%. I can't complain because we haven't been hit by 5% that much this fight, but in the early starts of the fight, it was getting a little scary. Ah, we can't go for another swing. That's unfortunate. A sweep, I mean. Oh, that one has last stand. That's a little scary. But because of pattern recognition, yeah, we don't have to worry about him. Oh, I forgot to proc his nine lives. That's fine. Our confidence stays. People are not checking it properly, which is good. And it's good to keep confidence up. Not like we have a choice, but our high resolve should keep confidence as high as possible for the longest time. And that's why I do like high resolve brothers. Especially Crusaders. <laughs> There's the 5% from the hammer again. You're being annoying, buddy. And I think it's just, yeah, down to four. That's not too bad. A little bit of armor to go through, but we should be fine. But yeah, if those ghosts basically got us down to fear into r running away, into fleeing, whilst we're surrounded by like six zombies or something, that's just the end of the game right there. So you'd have to restart the fight or something, or just give up. But as long as you don't lose to ghosts and don't lose to 5%, you can do undead fights fairly consistently. Did he survive on one health without procking the nine lives? Wow. Okay. <laughs> He's a survivor, that one. Oh, that took a long time. 42 rounds. <laughs> But that's a stack of XP, a ton of damage, 26 kills even though there were not 26 enemies. So favorite enemies, as you can see, is definitely helpful. 322 crowns and a signet ring, that's pretty nice. Uh, nothing else fancy though. But I'm happy to have some money. Now that should finish our ambition, so let's quickly camp it out. There's nothing really to do while we camp. There we go. One of us gets eager. <laughs> What's next? Oh, Noble Houses should be good. I think we're actually pretty close to it. Retinue slot sounds good as well. 
Oh, we do have the money for it. Yeah, let's do retinue slot first. Because I don't know how close we are to noble houses. <gasps> we are on top of noble houses. Okay, so can we buy a retinue slot? Oh, crap. We can't. Um... <laughs> What retinue can we get? I'm not entirely sure. So I kind of made a blunder there. We definitely were ready for uh, noble quests. Uh, do we get things like skillful stacking? Do we get lookout? I don't want to waste a perk because there's so many we need. Could we buy something for the retinue slot? I'm thinking we just buy a background from town. Discover a legendary location. Uh, da, 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 da. Sickness and accidents. Not super amazing. We could do scavenger. We do kill a lot of things. And they're actually easy to find in towns. So I think for the retinue slot, we'll get a quick beggar, cripple, refugee, or slave. I can't think of anything else. Because everything else is based on perks, which is hard to do when you're trying to be solo. It could be the Brigand, but no, we don't need that. And I don't know what that one says. Yeah, I can't remember what the Negotiator does. Uh, Paymaster, and then that. So we'll go to town. And in big cities, there's a very good chance of having beggars and stuff. Um, that's the Noxiras from last time, so they can go away. I think someone told us that the they don't eat you if you're the last person in the party or if you're the um, avatar. But I, I haven't tested that out, so I don't want to be super um, throwing caution to the wind. Okay, so what were we trying to get? We're trying to get a beggar or somebody crappy. There's a servant. Did that count? I think a servant counted. Beggar, cripple, refugee, or slave. Okay, servants don't count. Wow, they don't even have one. Unfortunate. So we'll have to go somewhere else, sadly. We're still looking for that flail, so can we please have it in the weaponsmith? Getting shortchanged again, aren't we? We'll have to take forever to get it. Uh, 19 selling, we can do better. There is a quest here. Delivery two day sell. Oh man, a two day delivery? That does not sound interesting. No, I'll decline that just so we get a better quest next time. Let's go to our favorite citadel that does seem to not have what we want. Let's hope their stock got replenished last time since we've been here. And we'll have to wait till morning. Uh, I, I can't think of anything that's super helpful whilst we're camping. We're going to get tons of money, so we can buy our own tools. We can buy our own medicine. We'll keep on top of food. Crafting sounds important. And training is good. I guess happiness doesn't sound too bad, because he's in good spirit. We can just get completely elated. Uh, no, we don't need a show. That's fine. And we repair it a little bit. Oh yeah, we do need to repair stuff. Food, we're doing okay. Uh, please have somebody we want. Oh, there's a master archer. Man, there's some good backgrounds here. And nothing that we want. Oh my goodness, we're getting shortchanged completely. There's a famed sword. Oh, there's the reach flail. That's not the one we want. That's less damage than the one that we want. Yeah, I can't justify buying that one instead and waiting for the flail that we want. Dang it. Also, did I forget to do the stats? I did, and the perks. Of course I did. Look at the double fours. And I'm tempted by the hit points. But I'm also tempted by the... We still need constant resolve. We're gonna get Bulwark, so... 
We do have Fortified Mind. I think there's another thing that gives us Resolve. I can't remember exactly. But I know Bulwark gives you 2% of your combined head and body armor, which is really nice. Uh, technically I want Battleforge, but we don't have crazy armor just yet. But it will stop the 5%. I want Flail Spinner, but we don't have the Flail, so I think we have to go with Battleforged. I also want Clarity to move that extra tile. But we're going to be surrounded most of the time anyways. So I think Battleforge to save us from the 5%. 85% damage to armor is still something. Um, so let's get those stats and... Do we get... No, we don't get Colossus. We do get Resilient. I do need to get that perk eventually. Uh, if any unlucky bleeds get on top of us, that will screw our armor and uh, screw our health. If we get poisoned by anything, that'll screw us completely. So I think Resilient is super important on your lone wolf builds. On people that are like the super powerhouses of your party. Or, you know, single solo runs like this. So I think I'm going to go with those hit points. Just this once. Because... Plus two resolve doesn't make the biggest difference. We're getting some from Bulwark eventually, and that four is just too, super juicy. Okay, so back to it. Uh, da, 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 da. We just have to keep searching for these darn backgrounds. Retinue are tricky to get these days. And please have something we want. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we could get some food. That would be really nice. Roots and berries last long, so we should get... We should try and make sure we keep on top of the longer-lasting foods. Okay. We're not in the mood to take a fight just yet. But we do want to keep doing quests. We're just hunting... Ah! Oh, well. Oh, we get a high ground. I'm happy with that. Okay. I'm scared of... Not too much. But I want this high ground right here. To be against these guys. 5%, but that barely dented us. He's shooting his own friend. Oh, that's sweet. 5 down to 13. That's sweet. They have fast adaptation, but pattern recognition trumps that for the moment. For the moment. Beautiful triple. Beautiful triple. Oh, don't kill your friend, because then we don't get the XP. Lucky 8%. Fair enough, fair enough. But I want these two dead first, because they've got the better accuracy. Uh, you're bleeding one per turn, but I still want to kill you first. Haha, <laughs> he took the high ground. Uh, yeah, we'll go after you, buddy. If we can get some of your loot more so. These guys don't matter, they don't have any loot. Are they gonna start running? Not really. Lucky hit, but the Battle Forged is coming in handy. Definitely have a little bit more armor than we usually would at this stage in the fight. Beautiful. We did get an armor drop, that's beautiful, and a couple weapons. And a food, which is really nice. And a hundred bucks, which I'm more happy about that. But not the fight I sort of was expecting, but it wasn't too dangerous, which is good. Uh, we will repair a couple things just to make some money off of them. Peasant flails don't give you any money, so don't ever try and repair them. The reinforced flails do a little bit better, but... Yeah, I'll repair it for some cash. Yeah, it can make a little bit. But peasant flails are worth, like, barely 50 bucks, which is down to, like, 5 bucks. It's horrible. Uh, but yeah, for the moment, that'll be fine. 
Yeah, really enjoying being a powerhouse. Oh, they're chasing us again? There's a tier 4 quest? That piques my interest. There's a cripple. That's what we needed, right? But there's a $50 cripple. Okay, for the, for the smallest amount of time, the party increases to 2. To quickly get the scavenger. And then quickly get rid of the cripple. Yeah, he's pretty garbage anyways. Okay, thanks for your time, buddy. And thanks for giving us the ambition we needed. Uh, what else can we do here? We can quickly check the quests. Uh, finding location for 300 is actually very nice to do. Brigands for 2500 as a tier 4 quest. Oh, I want to do that quest. I don't want us to lose the quest. And to die doing that quest. But that seems like a really cool idea. If we die on it, that's... That's just what's going to happen. Uh, let's quickly check the prices in town. I forgot to do that. 18. The Brigant Quest will get us a decent amount of loot. I probably should have sold at 19 or somewhere up north. But I can sell the crappy things. And save the more expensive stuff to sell at a better price. Yeah, that's probably the better way to do it. Yeah, like that. So we have a bit more space. Actually, that could sell as well. And I always forget to sell the ammunition. Because I normally play and just be like, Oh, I have spare ammunition, that's what I normally play with. But as a solo run, you don't really need it. Okay, so, let's quickly camp and get this brigand attack against us. No, they stopped attacking us? No, they did. Okay. I was camping to make sure that the ambition finished. Oh my goodness. 65% chance. We have to kill those archers quickly. <laughs> that is something we worry about. Let's go for a split. And we miss one of those. That was a 95. Okay, if we can't beat these guys, we can't do a legendary quest. So, come on. Okay, hit your friend. That's good. Very nice. He's somebody to worry about, but he's not rushing us. He's wanting to stay on the high grounds. Which is understandable. Okay, can we go for a split? Beautiful. Yeah, I know you're scary. You're also a bully, interestingly enough. Yes, shoot your friend. Thank you. Okay, basically everything that's hitting us now is 5%. So let's start trekking the morale. Okay. I see the problem. Damn, so many 5%. I'm gonna have to go this way. There. Yep, kill the archers. <laughs> that poacher is so accurate and so inaccurate. He killed his friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. You jerk. Lucky hit. We can't die here. Uh, did we go in the middle and scare them? Oh, it didn't work. Oh, we don't want to die here. Please don't. Who's going to die first? Him? Oh, that was risky. Sheesh. They got too many archer shots on us. 105 bucks. We got the Militia Glaive. A little bit of armor. Ooh, my heart was racing there for that one. Okay, we do need to repair as quickly as possible. Everything. Uh, we will need to buy some tools, I think. Even if even though they're a bad price, we have to get them. And let's put repair on. Yes! Okay, I was like, wait a minute. What the heck is this? It's the ambition fulfilled. And we need to catch the eyes of the noble houses, which finishes instantly. Man, we're stacking these ambitions. 
eight hidden locations. Visit the southern states and do five quests there. Win a battle against 12 or more enemies? Yeah, that's that happens a lot to us, so let's do that. Let's fix our health points and repairs. Uh, we also should probably put ourselves on injury fixing. Yeah, we've got exposed ribs, which is pretty bad. I want this legendary quest, but I also want to make sure we're healed up. And everything takes so much longer when it's only one person camping. But, we're looking good. And we didn't run out of tools, which is very nice. Uh, repair these things to make some money off of them. I forgot to do that. We got a level up. I didn't realize that. Uh, what do we get for this big crazy fight? Mm, clarity could be good. Berserk sounds interesting, but we don't have enough fatigue to use it. Resilient sounds really good. We want defensives as much as possible. And knowing it's forced our fight, if it's still in the town. Is it still in the town? It is. There's also a Barbarian King quest? Wow. Sheesh, those are two very hard quests. Um, stun immunity sounds good as well. There's got to be the best choice, and I want the best choice. And I'm really leaning towards resilient. Seventy-three, one sixty. I don't think we can get better armor at the moment. We can wear the slightly heavier helmet. That is true. Um, I did buy this one a while ago because I was like, oh, we can be a bit more nimble, but we're trying to be Battleforged, so a little bit heavier helmet doesn't make too much of a problem. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? 10% reduction to da armor also sounds really nice. We're already doing 85% less. We could do 10% less than that. Reach advantage sounds really good. But if they're always hitting on 5%, it's only when they hit us that we really have to care. Ah, Man of Steel helps you against the range shots, so we will definitely need to be grabbing that. Because um, <laughs> we're getting hit by a lot of range attacks, which means anticipation would be nice, but we can't grab anticipation. Yeah, for the moment, there's a lot of options, way too many options, as usual. But I am leaning towards that resilient. It's going to make a big difference. Also, we need to get rid of these rib problems. Oh, look at those fours, my goodness. Let's get that plus three resolve to get over 100. We are ecstatic. We are eager. I said it wrong. <laughs> okay, so let's take... Let's take the legendary quest. Let's do it. And if we die, we die. And we die happy. We will need to fight at night, 100%. Because uh, archers are the bane of our existence at the moment. So, there are five direwolves. Do they want our blood? No, they don't. Interesting. They came out of this place, weirdly enough. A few thugs, many poachers, holy crap, one raider, and a few war dogs. That doesn't seem hard, except for the fact that there's a lot of poachers. If we fight this at night, and it's on a hill, if we get an advantageous location with a little bit of a high ground, we can beat this. So I'm going to sit outside, and... Well, everything's healed up. Make ourselves happier? We need to get rid of these rib problems, so if we can camp until the ribs go away... 
That'll be nice. We get Euphoric, that's the one. Which is 75% chance to start at Confident. And we're just going to keep camping until our injuries go away. Because I don't want to fight this with a 35% reduction in maximum health. The dogs aren't a threat. The raider's not a threat. It's just the poachers. Please tell me our, we're fixed. We're fixed! We're still eager. Am I forgetting anything? Dagger someone down? It doesn't cost anything to hold a dagger in your inventory, so... I don't see a problem with it. If we find a really good armor on the raider, maybe we could kill him with the dagger. That's only like a 1% chance that'll happen. But let's do this. What luck you find yourself, the infamous robber baron. Fi Frizzo Firestarter. I knew it was too good to be true. There is a brigand leader. Well, I've been to RNG Hell and Back, and this fight is literally impossible. Uh, even with the best RNG, so we have to skip it. Okay, we have two important threats to deal with in this fight, and I don't know how to kill both of them. Wow, a 34%. What a way to start the fight. I need to get rid of these archers. I really do. The dogs will hopefully, as you can see, the shot's going astray, hopefully will help us, but damn. Headshot, which is very annoying for the days. Come on, let's go up here. Three, four, and of course a 23 hits us, so we can't get the fourth movement. Great. And look at all these 5%, 20%. The big boy jumps in. Great. We're not confident, which is also another added bonus. 50% start. We didn't get the 50 and I was sure it was 75 when we started this, but okay. We only do 12 damage to shields. Can we get confident, please? Had to kill a dog there, but... The archers will be annoying when they start shooting. But they're not shooting, which is really weird. It's probably because I've got so many people surrounding me, and they don't want to hit their own guys. That's confusing. Anyways, Big Boy has fast adaptation and pattern recognition. Holy crap. So, his stacks are stack. But weirdly enough, they don't cancel each other out. 75 and 78, that shouldn't be the way fast adaptation works, right? I mean, pattern recognition works. If you have it and somebody else has it, of course they hit 26s, yep. Because they needed to do that and completely destroy our armor. But other than that, pattern recognition should be... cancelling each other out, right? You get plus one attack, plus one defense, and they get plus one, plus one each. That makes sense, so why is it increasing? I don't know. Anyways, we are on a very bad situation. Because Big Boy has a split nose, which is actually very helpful. But he's still probably going to kill us because he has nine lives and goes before us. Yeah. I don't think that's enough to win, though. Win a battle against 12 more enemies, we might have to wait. Archers are just impossible, and the luck that that guy gets sometimes... It's ridiculous. We need to be higher level, or we need the 
flail or we need better luck or something, but if you want to see RNG Hell, do a solo run on Legendary Difficulty on PTR or just Normal Legends, because welcome to RNG Hell. Oh, this fight is impossible. There's just seven, what is it, seven poachers, and they don't stop hitting you on 30%. The raider's not threatening, the thugs have fast adaptation, so they hit you eventually. The leader has fast adaptation and perk, uh, pattern recognition, which is disgusting. And he has a one-handed hammer, which destroys your armor instantly when he hits you. Because he will hit you eventually, that's how he's built. And then once you kill enough melee people, the archers just rip you to shreds. So, sadly, it's a legendary contract, and it was too legendary for us. So apologies for that, but oh man, that was ridiculous. And this and direwolves, we'll take that instead. Yeah, I'd rather take direwolves over that crazy fight. 5% looks nice. We might get some good loot from this as well, so I'm actually keen. Nice. Swing does really well for pattern recognition, not like it makes a difference for 5%, but it helps our pattern recognition. And yeah, it just does great damage. And gets them to start fleeing, which is really nice. So it's funny that they chased us when they were the ones dying. Let's go that way so this guy gets killed on the way out. Nice. The thing that would make Badarwolves a little scarier is pattern, uh, not pattern recognition, uh, fast adaptation. But I'm not suggesting anything like that because I don't want to see them hit, get it. <laughs> Anyways, that's two pelts. Very nice. Very nice to see. That's going to help us craft some nice stuff later on. Hopefully. Might need to get some nice attachments. Mainly going after that white unhold stuff, that would be nice. Oh, the tier 3 for the Barbarian King sounds a little bit easier, but even then, that's that's really hard. I think we need to get stronger before we do that, because we struggled against a Brigand leader, and the Barbarian King is going to be harder, I think. So, we need to go hunting for that flail, and there's just no, no nothing we can beat around the bush with it. We just really need it. Did we get the retinue slot? We did get the scavenger. It's going to be tricky to get any other ones. I do want to get the bounty hunter. But, yeah, we just need levels. And even though we look strong, we are insanely weak. <laughs> Kill the creatures so we can live in peace again. Spiders would destroy us. Absolutely destroy us. Direwolves are easy. Noxidas, supposedly they can't kill us because they can't eat the avatar and they can't eat your last character. But they can still do so many corpses, so I'm not interested. I want to pick my beast fights, not be told which ones to fight. Because I'm worried that that would just ruin us. Uh, let's go to a stone keep. Please have what we want. We are desperate. Oh, there's some footprints. I, I... I don't get it. Footprints just went past us. Okay, let's quickly camp till morning. Yep. Yeah. And... I guess just create medicine. Camping as one person doesn't really achieve very much at all. So it doesn't really benefit much. Please have what we want. There's a crappy version of it. There's also a very cool cleaver. I'm asking way too much of the game, aren't I? Selling for 17. Yikes, they still don't have it. The faction helmet's really cool. But we already have the green one. Yeah, nothing really piques my interest. 
I want to spend money on armor and stuff. But I want to wait for that after we get the weapon. Small fortification. They probably won't have what we want. But I'm going to go eastward. Hopefully these prospering cities will have what we want. They'll have a lot of quests, which is exactly what we want. But more so, we just need that flail. Being able to swing six targets at once will be amazing. Can we get some money while we're here? Caravan, day to the northeast. Tiefenmark. We're not the best at defending caravans. Fizzernmark. Tienmark or Fizz... Actually, Tienmark's not bad to go to. Let's do that one instead. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll take this one. We might be able to defend the caravan. That's the trick. There's a chance. And there's a chance with some thugs and one rabble poacher? Yeah, we can defend that. Just depends how long these guys will survive. As they split up their forces. Beautiful hit. Sadly, no insta-kills. They had some decent armor, too. Cut leg muscles means we're probably faster than him. Just barely. With a negative 40%, we're barely faster than him. Uh, I want to go with the this one. And then take the high ground? Yeah. Okay, you guys defend over there. And I'm going to take care of these guys at top. Beautiful! Nice! The caravan hands know what they're doing. Good job, caravan hands. Uh, technically I want to kill this one. And miss a 95, yep. Nice! Almost stealing my kills there, guys. Yeah, the donkeys will be fine. That was dangerous. You probably shouldn't be swinging that axe around, buddy. Nice high ground advantage. High ground advantage and misses a 95. Sheesh, misses an 81. These caravan hands are a little unlucky. And that's a dead donkey. We could have avoided that if the caravan hand was able to get his kills. But that's okay, we still get 160 bucks, that's nice. Okay. So we were able to successfully defend the caravan. Please don't give up on us. Please say we actually successfully did this quest. We didn't all die, but I can only pay you so much. That's fine. We're here for the XP, mainly. Barbarian King again? Sheesh, it's that time of the game, isn't it? And we're, what, how many days in? 20 days in? And everyone wants to, f to fight the Barbarian King? <laughs> Sheesh. Well, they have the crappy one. 25 to 60. I mean, if it rolls high, it could be good. But I just can't see that as an upgrade. I just can't. Two days to the southeast. No. No, I'm not really interested. There's a mighty stone keep. Dang it, Fletcher. They got another one of those? Sheesh. Everybody's selling the one we don't want. Day west. No, we're not going west. Find a location not far to the east. Uh, I mean, it's 300 bucks, so... Region of Durham. Fine. We'll get 300 bucks, which is over here for sure. Ah, it was there. Close enough. But we don't spend any money per day, so money is free. Nicely done. Did we get a level up recently? No, we didn't. We still have a long way to go. 
Tier 2 to do patrolling quest. Actually, that's very, very interesting. I want to do the patrol quest. We can earn so much money. Oh, it's making us go back up north. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Then where do we go? All the way to Talbak? Okay. We don't have much time in this quest for leisure. So we'll try and kill anything we see along the way. And that will help. Uh, weirdly enough, we have to help out these guys. Oh, we're on the side of the map, really? We'll never make it in time. I hate starting on the side of the map. But yeah, these footmen are gonna wipe the floor with these thugs. And rabble poachers, of course, as well. But hopefully we'll get a lucky free kill. Fair enough, the thugs are destroying them. <laughs> Not really, but you know. Uh, no one's killing this one for us. Can we get the kill in two hits? Of course not. It's gonna get stolen from us. Yeah. Called it. Sir Lance. <laughs> That's a funny name. He's using a mace, though. But, yeah, I don't think we'll get this. I'd love to steal that poacher kill, but I think the footman's gonna get to us before us. Uh, we'll run him down, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh well, we tried. We still got one tool. I don't know why, but okay. Probably from salvage. The salvaging background that helps us. Currently no footprints around us to steal a kill. Unfortunate. We do need 20 heads. And they also don't have anything we want. Rough times. We might be able to wander south. Yeah. Okay. It's, we've got four days left, so we should be fine risking this journey here. Please, Grunberg, please. They have it. Oh, that took forever, but we have the weapon we want. Thank you, Grunberg. You also are preparing a feast? They're buying food in bulk. We also don't have food. <laughs> so we can't assist you there, Grunberg. Sorry, but we do finally have the weapon of choice. And look at that beauty. It doesn't look great. 40 to 80 doesn't seem as good as 55 to 80. But 60 to 100 is what it actually accounts for. And 66 to 110 is what accounts for armor. Which is better. And then you can hit like 6 people at once. So that's beautiful. And we're going to go for more headshot builds, more stuff like that. It's going to be nice. We will need a Jester's Hat, and I do want to get that sometime soon. Not looking like the luck is here with us for that reason. Could get some heavier armor attachments, that would be nice. Tier 1, 14 for 115 is not amazing, but it's not bad. Yeah, we might have to give it a pass. I mean, it's only a grand. We're making money really well. Okay, so we can actually have an upgrade here. From 180, 160 to 188, that's a little bit of an upgrade. 
but the weight of it is worse by far. But we're at least getting the tabard layer plus two and the sash plus one to help out our resolve a teeny weensy bit more, which is nice to see. Uh, can we get the helmet a little bit better? That would be nice too. Not by much, sadly. Yeah, not by much. Okay, so we'll just keep wandering. We'll make our way back, because it's going to be a while to get there. Undead, I'm not super keen on fighting. So I hope we find something in the wilderness before that. Yeah, it's not looking too great. Unknown garrison. We have three days. Let's find something different. There's gotta be something out here. Ah, oh, running out of food. But there are undead wandering the earth. A few necromancers and a fallen hero. Uh, that's a bit of a tough fight. But the Fallen here is going to defend the Necros the entire time. Yeah, you're going to keep possessing him. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around. And then walk up and kill him. So let's go here. Beat up the Necromancer. He's going to try and push us away. Does he have fast adaptation? He does not. So fun times there for you, buddy. Necro's having a bad day. There we go, now we've got both Necros. <laughs> oh, and they thought they could beat us with this. Oh, we lose our confidence. That's bad. But we just need to swing and take out both Necros in the same turn. Let's swing around in a circle. And get the double kill. And now we're not confident still. Okay, fair enough. Get past that shield as much as possible. Nice. I just love that clunk sound. Oh, it feels so good. Nine lives proc, of course. That's a dead one right there. And we get a winged mace out of it. Not bad. A bit of cash. That's three heads. It's not enough. We're also out of food, which is really bad. Please don't be upset at me, Genevieve. Forgot to buy you some food. Greenskin invasion, that's interesting. And I'm slightly keen on looking into that. Don't know where the green skins would be. We have to be back in one day? Shivs, did we leave it too long? Almost too long. Let's finish it up anyways. I don't want to screw this quest. Sadly, we only got three kills out of that. But we got the weapon we wanted. That was the main thing. Uh, deliver cargo? No. Caravan two days to the southeast. That's going to be tricky. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's go back to these nice big cities. There's so many cities in this area that are big. They're going to constantly give us a ton of quests. So we'll just keep rotating between them. Because look at this. Is this another... It's a barbarian king. We have the weapon we want. Follow the tracks. I'll do that instead. That should be the right tracks. Yeah, that is good. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep trying to get the levels that we want to use this flail a bit more. And we're going to have to do something about ranged characters. We really have to. That was sadly not a kill. If that was a headshot, that would have been an insta-kill. So we need to find Jester Hats. We need to find... 
some more perks. 95 misses, that's kind of rough. Oh, we can start spinning in a circle. Beautiful. Nice injuries, that's what I like to see, some blunt injuries going. Flails are beautiful for injuries. <laughs> the triple kill! Oh, I went the wrong way, I didn't realize he went north. Okay, we'll chase you down, buddy. Of course you hit me whilst your friend is suffering. Can... what's his injury? Fractured elbow, okay. So we stand still. There we go. 5% that you hit us with, buddy, wasn't worth it, buddy. You just died. Nicely done. Now we'll return it. We want these guys to like us. We want more and more XP, more and more quests. We are so close to leveling up, though. And now that we have our flail, I really want that extra attack. No, we're not doing a delivery. And we're not doing the barbarian quest. Yeah, we'll fight him eventually. We're not going to do it now. It's too risky. Selling for 20, that's actually worth it. Let's empty out the inventory a bit. Make some good cash. Uh, I forgot to repair, repair a few things, didn't I? The Crusader armor, I'm... Can't keep it, but I'll keep it as a trophy of our journeys. The Crusader Sword, the Battle Standard, the Crusader Armor. They'll stick around for us to show off, basically. <laughs> uh, let's quickly sit on camp and repair a few things. Oh, I didn't actually think the things to repair. Of course I didn't. That's why they haven't repaired. Uh, let's repair this, this... And these two to make some coin. Very nice. And still selling for 20, I hope. Nice. Don't need that. Didn't repair those because I forgot, but that's fine. Oh, uh, what else do we need? That's pretty much it for the moment. We're now on a decent amount of cash. I want a camp upgrade for the training. So that would be a nice thing to buy, but also just buying some better armor. That would just be very helpful. What's the tool prices? I didn't double check. Not amazing. We can do better. But sadly, we haven't won a battle against 12 or more enemies just yet. We have a lot of quests available for us for next episode. That is definitely true. Uh, nothing interesting that we wanted. I mean, the helmet for 50 is not bad. But if we're spending money, we want to get a better one than that. Because we're only on 40 at the moment. Tools are horrible. Okay, fair enough. That's probably because the town is really upset. We're against that location. I like it. Find a location that's also nice for 400 bucks. Not interested in the delivery. Hunt for a bunch of beasts. I hate doing that quest. So, yeah. We're going to have to probably leave it there because we are probably a little bit out of time. Or getting close to it. And, yeah. I'm really happy that we got ourselves the chain mace today. If we didn't get it today, I would have been really, like... Come on, we really need this weapon. So Flail Mastery allows us to practically never run out of fatigue, because look at that, 9 per turn. We're getting 20 when we're fully rebounded, that's beautiful. Um, and we're swinging at 20 Thresh, which is perfect. So even when we're fully fatigued, we get 20 back and can Thresh all around. Now what we get to do is we get to get Flail Spinner. Now, I have been told that attacks with Flails have a 50% chance to do a free attack. The Thresh technically can go again. 
But I'm not sure how it procs. Like, if it's 50% per each time it hits an enemy, and then we get multiple, multiple Threshes. It Thresh, uh, what the thing is, Flail Spinner cannot proc off of itself. So if you attack with a Flail, with a normal attack, then it procs Flail Spinner. That attack cannot proc, proc Flail Spinner again. So you can't get infinite hits. Which I think is very, very important, because that could be stupidly overpowered. But I don't know how many of the six targets proc this, or if it just procs once. But I am keen to find out, and very keen to use that. Very keen to get Headhunter, 10% from small target. It's going to be a beauty. So we're going to try and get that chance to hit head a bit higher. Hopefully we get a famed version of this, because it's already at plus 15%. So that plus the 10 of the hedge is 50, and then that's 60. Sadly, I don't think we can get higher than 60 with what we have at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get higher than 60. But if we stagger enemies or daze them and stuff, 20% chance to stun on hit. We get a better chance to hit the head, so maybe push the advantage might be helpful here. But we'll have to see how that goes over time. Anyways, sitting on some pretty decent stats, sadly had to ruin that uh, legendary quest, but it was legendary, and I tried so hard to succeed in that quest and we couldn't get it. So, sad times, but we'll try it again sometime soon in the future, especially since we have this weapon now. But we have to find some way of dealing with ranged enemies, and I'm not quite sure how we would do it. Might have to bring, like, a shield and a one-handed flail. Yeah. Because Anticipation would be the only way I could consider fighting ranged enemies consistently, and we don't have it. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed our mini-series, and we'll keep doing some of these episodes whenever I get the chance. But, till next time, hope you enjoyed, and see us.